Hey, Cherie. Well, it's still a very active scene here. We're actually on the off ramp right now. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can get a look at what we're seeing right now. Investigators are still here very much so on the Mount Zion Road exit ramp here. After several reports of a body, there have been several units here on scene from Florence Police. Police say it's a man. He was found behind some coattails, and investigators believe that this may be actually tied to a rollover crash from Saturday at 2.20 a.m. or so when it happened. Police say that witnesses saw two people leave the scene. They say that they actually left the third person from what they believe, where that person landed behind those cattails and the brush. Now, at this point, investigators say they do not believe foul play is involved at this point, but police believe it may have been a drunk driving situation and the two people bailed. Now, it's not clear who those people are. Police are still trying to figure out who they are. But we know at this point that when the crash happened, investigators came out here, checked the area, checked the shoulder, they didn't find anything at the time, but they went to the home that the license plate of that crashed vehicle was registered to. Nobody answered the door there. A few days later, police say they actually got a missing persons report that was filed. They say that the person who is missing, they do not believe that the person who is missing is the person who's registered to the car uh, at this point. So still a lot of different details coming in at this point. They say they're not sure if the body found, if this person found is indeed this missing person, but they are still working to sift through all of those details at this point. And investigators say that the person who was thrown from the car, this body here that was found, is from the area. They have not been able to make a positive ID at this point. Investigators say they hope to have a positive ID soon, but they won't know the cause of death until an autopsy is done. We'll keep following this story for you, getting a lot of new information. We'll get it to you here uh, as soon as we can. For now, we're going to send it back into you, Mike and Cherie.